In today's lesson, we will learn about natural rubber uses, the process of latex coagulation, and latex coagulation prevention methods. Natural rubber is derived from rubber tree known as Hevia brasiliensis. Natural rubber appears as milky liquid, also called latex. The natural rubbers are made up of small monomer unit isoprene. Its IUPAC name is 2-methylbuta-1,3-diene. These small monomers combines into thousands of isoprene units to form polyisoprene or rubber polymer through addition polymerization. Now, let's have a look at the basic characteristic of natural rubber. Natural rubber exists as soft white solid at room temperature. It is good electric insulator and is not resistant to heat. This means when natural rubbers are heated above 50 degrees Celsius, it melts, and further heating beyond 200 degrees Celsius leads to decomposition. Natural rubber is not resistant to oxidation and it reacts with acid, alkali and organic solvents. However, it does not dissolve in water. Most important characteristic of natural rubber is the fact that it is elastic. This means when natural rubber is stretched, the tangled polymer chain becomes straightened. Subsequent action of releasing the natural rubber will make the polymer chain to return to their original state. Moving on, let's dive into the uses of natural rubber in our daily lives. Natural rubber are materials that increases friction forces. As such, it is used to make soles of slippers, door stoppers and floor mats. Latex are added into cement mixture along with rubberized bitumen that pave the surface of road and bridges. Natural rubbers are widely used as insulators for electrical appliances and cable. Besides this, natural rubbers are further processed to become vulcanized rubber that has enhanced property compared to natural rubber. Vulcanized rubber are used in the making of gloves, rubber tubes, and tires. You may have used eraser, rubber stamp, and even seen conveyor belts that are made from vulcanized rubber. Latex sap obtained from tapped rubber tree consists of an aqueous suspension of colloidal rubber particles. Each rubber particle consists of rubber polymers that are surrounded by protein membrane. On the surface of this membrane, there are negative charges that causes the rubber particles to repel each other, hence preventing latex coagulation. Question is, what causes latex coagulation? Well, the answer to the question is that the addition of certain acid such as formic acid, does lead to the latex to coagulate faster. This is because hydrogen ions from the acid neutralizes the negative charges surrounding the rubber particles. These neutralized particles will then collide with one another causing the protein membrane to rupture. The rubber polymers will be released and starts to coalesce leading to coagulation of latex. Secondly, latex coagulation also occurs when it is left overnight. Even though acids are not added, bacteria in the air slowly attacks the protein membrane to produce lactic acid. Hydrogen ions from lactic acid also neutralizes the negative charges to produce neutralized rubber particles, enabling coagulation to occur. This coagulation can be prevented by adding ammonia solution. This is because the hydroxide ion from ammonia will neutralize the hydrogen ions from the lactic acid. There are several types of acid that leads to latex coagulation such as ethanoic acid, methanoic acid known as formic acid and hydrochloric acid. 
Prevention of latex coagulation can be done by using alkali solutions such as ammonia, sodium hydroxide, and potassium hydroxide. Before ending this lesson, let's learn more about vulcanized rubber. Vulcanized rubber are natural rubbers that are usually heated with 1-3% to of sulfur. This process is also known as vulcanization, which is to form cross-link between polymer chains of rubber molecules. Vulcanized rubber has sulfur cross-link, which are held by strong covalent bonds, which prevents the rubber polymer chain from sliding over each other. This makes vulcanized rubber to be more elastic and durable compared to natural rubber. Apart from that, vulcanized rubber has better heat resistance and are less soluble in organic solvent compared to natural rubber. Besides sulfur, vulcanization process can be carried out using metal oxides, peroxides and irradiation. I hope you have gained knowledge about natural rubber and that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.